Hey guys, my name is Kai. I am a personal development consultant and your numerologist. Thank you for visiting Soul and Vibration. This is your monthly forecast for May 2017. I can't believe we are already five months into the year. One more month and we'll be halfway there. May 2017 carries the number six vibration. And the way I got that number is by adding all the digits up in 2017, which adds up to the number 10 and reduce it by adding the one to the zero, you'll get the number one. And then you add that to the number five, which comes from May being the fifth month and you get the number six. The number six has to do with home, family, community, love, responsibility, and the body. The body itself is a community with all the different organs and parts that come together and make the whole function. Before I get into the personal reading for everyone, I want to call everyone to take part in a celebration of the body this month with me. Since the overall six vibration has to do with the overall body, I figured why not all come together and join in a one month celebration of the body. The way you will celebrate your body this month is by making some kind of a change, whether it's adding more fruits, vegetables, water, removing soda, fried foods, whatever it is that you decide to do to add more love and light and energy into your body. What I'm doing this month is continuing my raw food journey that I started in April. Um, April 4th, I decided to start eating completely raw foods and so far it's felt amazing and I want to keep that going this month. For those of you who don't know, I am a vegan. I started on my vegan journey August 2006 and I have not looked back since. So trying, well not trying, moving into a raw food lifestyle feels amazing so far. It's something that I've done off and on throughout the years and last month april suddenly and unexpected like the overall energy within the month i woke up one day and said oh i'm i want to try something new and i've been eating raw since then and i have felt amazing and seen a lot of positive changes within my body so this month i encourage you to join me in celebration of the body and adding or removing or doing something new that you have not done that will bring more energy, love, and light into the body. Now I will move on into the per now I will move on to the personal forecast for each individual number. The way you can find out what to expect for yourself personally for May 2017 is by adding the digits in your year and then reducing to a single digit and then adding that digit to the digits in your month. If your month has two digits like December, October or November, you'll have to add the digits within your month and reduce it before you add it to the digit of your year. Then once you're all done adding up the numbers in your personal year and month, you will add it to the number six and then reduce to a single digit. If you got the number one, happy new year to you. Yes, the new year started January, but even though the new year started January, you were still dealing with some things that was carrying over from the last year or even the last few years and last month um, April being the month of sudden and unexpected change which will carry the number nine personally for you you experience some endings in your life 
so this month may 2017 is all about new beginnings for you and with the overall vibration being the number six your new changes or new beginnings will immediately focus on community so this month you will find yourself joining a new group um, this new group will help you when it comes to building your image and identity and I say building your image and identity in the sense that say for example you are someone that struggles with speaking publicly and this is the month you join a public speaking group that will help you to be more confident when speaking in front of others so overall something like that will affect your identity and your overall self-esteem also you you can find yourself joining the gym this month starting anything that has to do with a community that will in result benefit the overall self if you got the number two this month for you will be all about making new relationships new friendship if you are single you can find yourself coupling up this month this is a very exciting month for you because it is all about unity and oneness when it comes to community so this month at work you might find yourself um, starting to become closer with co-workers or um, in the groups that you are already in you'll find yourself um, just starting to feel understood by the people around you so this month you will definitely feel a oneness and build new relationships and move forward with old relationships in the past that seem to not be going anywhere this month you will know where you stand overall when it comes to relationships whether it is family love or career oriented the number three this month for you is all about new beginnings when it comes to something that you have been working on um, something that you started working on say in March whatever it is that you started working on in March or you heard news of in March this month you can expect the ball to get rolling I'm guessing this might be something that has to do with um, work or yeah with work something that you started that you probably applied for or have been just pretty much preparing yourself for an opportunity this month you will get wind on finally being able to get things going you'll finally be able to start that project this month or this is the month that you may have have finished a project and you're ready to share it with your community share it with your tribe share it with your following so this is an exciting month for you when it comes to new beginnings of something that you have been that has been in the works for the last few months the number four this month your foundations will be tested when it comes to home work or personal love relationships but don't be alarmed because a lot of the times we enter into relationships or start new jobs and we are so busy in the beginning getting acquainted and finding out what our responsibilities are that we don't take a closer look at the foundation and see if the position that we're in is something that can be built upon this month your focus is on foundation building when it comes to your home relationship or your career so like I said don't be alarmed if you notice that the foundation is not quite what you thought it was in the beginning this is the month to implement the changes that you need in order to structure your foundation so it can be sturdy and strong enough 
to build for a lasting and fulfilling future. The number five, this month you will experience change. Sudden changes when it comes to home, love, and community. Just know that whatever changes occur is for the best. Sudden changes can be scary because when something changes sudden, that means we never got an opportunity to plan for the future. So we don't know what to expect. But just know that whatever is happening, whatever sudden changes is happening in your life, community, or relationship is for the best. And if you really look closely at whatever is changing, you will realize that it wasn't that sudden. At some point, there were signs that the change needed to happen. So embrace whatever changes that you are experiencing in your home, community, or relationships. Changes are good because changes are inevitable. So once there are changes, we are able to go in and implement new things. Changes bring newness. So welcome the changes that you will experience this month and know that they are for the best. Number six, this month I want you to focus on your body. This month it is important to Take a closer look at your lifestyle and your routines and how they affect the body. If there are things that you know aren't supporting your overall health and body, this is a good month to make changes and join communities or groups that will help you to develop the proper regimens that will help you to be as healthy as you can possibly be. Also this month, the focus will be on love for you. Love, home, community, responsibility will all be a major focus for you, full force. When you go to work, you will find yourself focusing on your relationships at work. Yes, your job description will still matter and you will still have to focus on doing whatever job you are hired to do or if you're running your own business yes you will have to focus still on running the business but overall your attention will be brought to the individual relationships whether that's the relationships with your customers co-workers children lovers lover <laughs> not lovers <laughs> Your attention will be brought to those relationships. So assess your relationships and find and be sure that you are taking on the responsibility that is necessary in making these relationships flourish into beautiful gardens. The number seven, this month your focus will be on reflecting looking within and finding a truth that can only be found within you that is associated with your community, your relationships, whether it's family, work, or love. Last month, you experienced some sudden and unexpected changes that has left you confused about um, what the future may bring or confuse about where you see yourself in this community or relationship in the near future. So this month your focus will be on going deep within and finding truth. A good way to help yourself find truth is to spend time in silence. Breathe consciously. A lot of the times it is hard to, for most of us to spend time in silence because our mind gets so noisy and in the process of a noisy mind it brings fear because we're either worrying about what happened in the past or what will happen in the future. But conscious breathing, which is observing your breaths in and 
breaths out helps you to be present within the moment. So once you're present and focus on the moment, you won't find yourself stressed or overwhelmed about the past or the future. And being in the moment will help your intuition to better guide you because then you are open and able to connect with source and get the guidance necessary to help you to solve the problems and bring the truth out that you're searching for. The number eight, this month your focus will be on contracts having to do with your home or community or relationships. This might be the month that you're getting married, be the month that you are signing a new lease. You might find yourself selling your home this month, putting, up for, putting it up for sale this month, or even finding a buyer this month. Um, be conscious when you are out and about because with the number eight having to do with legalities, you can find yourself having challenges when it comes to legal situations. So, and also the number eight has to do with um, learning and teaching, controlled networking, and karma. And when I mention karma, I feel like the eight, number eight, the number eight struggle with karma has to do with the tunnel vision that the number eight struggles with when operating in a lower vibration. And when I say tunnel vision, people strongly associate with the number eight tends to focus only on what they place in front of them and totally block out everything else that's happening around them. And in the process of blocking everything out, um, challenging situations occur and they end up learning the hard way because they miss all the guidance and information that is presented in front of them. So me saying all of that is to say this month, be very open and aware of your surroundings and what is happening around you. Try to catch yourself when you find yourself zoning, zoning off and having tunnel vision on one specific situation in your life. The number eight also has to do with finances. So this month you can find yourself making more money or spending more money. You have to have it in order to spend it. And if you are spending more money this month, you will be spending it in areas that has to do with your with love, your relationships, or remodeling your home. But be careful not to overdo it. The number nine. This month is a month that has to do with endings for you. But don't be alarmed because endings are great. In life's cycles, one thing has to end in order for another thing to start. It's hard for us to receive if our hands are filled with the old. So this month, allow yourself to release what no longer serves you because next month is the beginning of your new year. So with that being said, a lot of new beginnings will come into your life. And in order for new beginnings to come, in and come into your life, um, endings will have to occur. And you might experience your endings this month that has to do with your home, family, or community. This might be the month that you are moving, relocating, or starting a new job or ending I should say this may be the month that you are ending um, your lease at your home or this might be the month of your two weeks notice at your career or you might just decide this month to stop thinking the way you've been thinking and start a new way of eating living just overall being whatever it is that comes to an end in your life this month if it is painful, just remind yourself that change is inevitable and in order to receive, we have to let go. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy doing these forecast videos for you guys. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.